What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to my Shield Simulator series. I'm going to start at the very beginning and this is probably going to be a three part series. I want to go through each individual sim even though some of them are pretty easy. In my personal experience the last sim was slightly more difficult and I will try to get to that and give you tips as soon as I can. Now once you go through the introduction dialogue you'll have a simulator intro challenge. This is going to give you 100 experience and it's basically just to introduce you to the simulator. You will also notice that there are simulator points and there's a villain archive. We will take a brief look at that villain archive and I will do bosses from that but I'm not sure if I should start maybe like a mini episode thing or maybe just go on suggestions. This is the simulator tab and you'll notice it right below the mission tab. After a brief welcome they will explain the simulator challenge points. They also talk about the two sections and the type of challenges you may face. So for example you can face class restrictions, time limitations, score challenges and much more. After you complete all the challenges in a set you'll be given a reward. Now simulator points are capped at three and they come back over time. There was a bug with this and they were returning really fast but I'm not sure when or if they fixed it yet. The villain archive is pretty cool especially since it has a bio of each villain. It doesn't cost any simulator points but it also doesn't give any rewards. When starting the sim you have to beat the simulator intro. This is fairly easy and after you do this you'll be given security clearance. In this first matchup it's going to be with a lone sentinel. You'll have your agent and you can choose any of your weapons or your armors and then you also get to bring in two of your characters. So it's basically just like a normal battle. So I brought in Black Panther and Taskmaster. I started by using Vibranium Daggers as a quick action. Then I'm going to use Black Panther's Anti-Metal Claws. And since it is a blaster he'll get a follow up attack. At this point I'm going to use Panther Stance. And then I'll just go ahead and use our second ability Wakandan Arts. And that's it the Sentinel's defeated already and we get our security clearance. Now unfortunately Taskmaster didn't appear to get any experience which is one thing I wanted to test. After you complete your security clearance you'll get to look at all 10 of the simulator basics. However you will have to complete them in order. Let's take a look at these new challenges and then we'll also check out the villain archive. One of the first things you may notice is there is a taskbar and then you see the reward it's going to be 10 gold. There are various challenges, everything from multiple enemies to score challenges and restrictions. The last two are timed and a boss rush, so those look pretty interesting. And now on to the villain archive, which is pretty awesome. I think it's a really cool idea. Unfortunately, you don't get any rewards. I wish they gave you something like one gold or even a command point for defeating these bosses. The first villain you can see there is militant, but then they all start showing up. And there's everyone from Red Skull to the Wrecking Crew and even past bosses like Curse. Thanos and his lieutenants even make an appearance. And that's not all. When we click on one of these villains, you'll see a pretty detailed bio. So let's go ahead and click on Satana. And there you see our first Marvel Avengers Alliance appearance, our first comic appearance, a short bio, and then other appearances in the game. I really like how they did this and I have to say we should give them credit for a job well done. Now back to the simulator basics challenges. First off you have to defeat a single enemy. This one seems like it's going to be pretty easy to beat. I imagine it's going to be similar to the intro so you only have to fight one enemy and you can have any team you want. Alright so I'm going to start the simulation and we'll see what they have in store. At the start of the sim they give you a little tip. And it basically says it can create a wide range of enemies from the most common thugs to those not recently encountered. And let me tell you they weren't kidding we're going to be facing Blackheart. He was a past boss and group boss and he was actually a pretty formidable group boss. And because of that fact I'm going to use a team that I used against Arcade and that's Deadpool and Sabretooth. This team was pretty effective at doing some major damage to group bosses. One thing that I did forget was the fact that I have a full scrapper team and the first thing Blackheart's going to do is go anti scrapper. So yeah this battle could have gone worse for me but I do think they made the basics easy to beat. I'd say it's meant to be an introduction to the whole shield simulator experience. 
After Blackheart's first turns, we're going to make pretty short work of him. Unfortunately, my agent was incapacitated, so now on Sabretooth's turn, I'm going to use his quick action, and this will cause him to go Berserker on Blackheart. I have to admit, it's been a little while since I've used Sabretooth, and I almost forgot about using his quick action. Then I should have used his level 2 first, but instead I went with the Claw Swipe. Still, this particular battle is pretty basic and it won't really make me pay. We already have Blackheart close to 50%, and then after a brutal bash, we get a counterattack with Deadpool. Not to mention a wine on the forums proc. So there's a sharp pointy things, followed by a claw swipe, and that's the end of the first sim. All in all, it was pretty basic like I said, but it was cool to see Blackheart once again. Now for the very next sim, you have to defeat multiple enemies. You cannot move on to the next sim until you've beaten the previous one. In this sim they ask how well can we dodge arrows. And that's because we're facing Bowman and Dark Hawkeye. Since they have an infiltrator, I'm just going to leave our triple scrapper team together. As far as the turn order, I'm really not sure if it's random or not. But I do notice that the enemies get to take the first turns in each of the first two sims. These particular two enemies are going to take four turns in a row so you may need some sort of survivability. To be honest, the most annoying part of this for me is the fact that you have to wait through all these turns. But my team does have a pretty high counterattack rate with both Deadpool and my agent. Not to mention the fact that Sabretooth will attack once we get to use his level 6. And speaking of him, my agent is stunned once again, so we have to skip our turn. This is starting to seem like it's a theme. But we will use Berserker, and then we're going to attack with our level 2 on the Infiltrator. This will place Bleed times 2, and then we also get a follow-up attack with a Claw Swipe. Then with Deadpool, we're going to use Bang Bang Bang, and it will also follow that up with his level 1. It's really nice having an Infiltrator on the other team, and Bowman should die to Bleeds. Well, actually Sabretooth takes him out with a Claw Swipe. Now with Dark Hawkeye's turn, he fires a shrapnel arrow at Deadpool, who counters with the sharp pointy things. Since he has quite a few bleeds on his next attack, he almost bleeds out, and our agent finishes him with a Blade of the Guardian. That's two simulator challenges down already, and we're going to start our third. I'll most likely do the simulator in groups of three, because that's how many simulator points they give you. For our next challenge, we have to face multiple green goblins. Since that's the case and he is a scrapper, I'm going to switch to Hercules and then also Juggernaut. These two bruisers should really do some damage, especially after they get enraged. You may remember that green goblin can take a lot of turns in a row, so having a counterattack set up can really help. Hercules and its gift of battle are perfect for this. However, you may also want to put counterattack weapons on your agent. And whatever you do, don't use an infiltrator in this battle. In this sim, one enemy gets the first turn, and then the other goblin has to wait. So with Hercules, we'll use the Gift of Battle. Then on my agent's turn, I'm going to use Close the Gap and the Warbringer Axe. I was thinking we could do even more damage than that, but we will take it. It's not too bad. And there goes the second goblin using the Serum. So now with Juggernaut, we're going to use Surge of Sidorak and then Mountain Crusher on the one that's hurt. After this first round, the Green Goblins are both going to start taking extra turns. This is where your counterattacks will really come in handy. Already, Hercules is going to make them pay with the Rock of Ages. His counter damage is so impressive, he's amazing to have on your team. In fact, he's going to finish the bottom Goblin with Rock of Ages, and then I'll use his level 1 Pummel on the top Goblin, and that will finish the Sim. So that's going to be it for part one of our Shield Simulator series. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will try to cover the next three, and all of them very soon. Lastly, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck, and take care.